Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I have review of this mask shoulder holster and it is all the way from Turkey. All right, this particular one is actually a vertical shoulder holster. And as you can see, it is for my 1911. Fits absolutely beautifully. This is a five inch barrel. And as you can see, let's get straight into the features, right? As you can see, you can actually wear which I think is really a great feature. You can wear this shoulder holster without the trigger lock or the trigger guard. In, in, in different holsters, you have it over the hammer. In some holsters, you have it actually going over the trigger guard. In this case, you have it going over the beaver tail safety, but you can carry it without it, which I really do like the fact that Musk thought about it, kind of gave you that option. Um, as you can see, there are two buttons on the back, so that means you can actually have it set up a little bit lighter or a little bit tougher, kind of actually locking this trigger, um, the beaver safety in place, which I don't like it as, I like it more of uh, uh, relaxed. So, speaking of the material itself and the build, the leather is very soft, very comfortable. You can really wear it without a shirt on, but I don't know why would you do that. <laughs> but you can't, it's really that comfortable. And usually, you know, whenever it comes to shoulder holsters, I'm kind of on a mission here with this Firearms of America thing to make shoulder holsters great again, because I absolutely love them. Not just for the fact that they are very, very comfortable, very, very concealable, versatile. You can walk around all day with this, switching from walking to sitting to laying to doing really whatever and still be comfortable with this shoulder holster and not really this particular one really all of them you know so i reviewed a few other ones so if you want to check them out check them out but a few specific things that i wanted to mention about this particular shoulder holster is as you can see the adjustment here is done with these chicago style screws which very very nice and uh, obviously made out of metal which adds up to the sturdiness, of course, and peace of mind too. Uh, you do have this plastic hardware here, uh, polymer plastic, very tough, heavy duty, um, to kind of hold all the straps in place. As you can see now, I have this piece kind of sliding up. It is because I temporary, it's just a temporary positioning. I'm still in the process of adjusting. Um, I did a few videos on the adjustment of shoulder holsters and Whenever it comes to the vertical shoulder holsters, most of the times you do get the belt straps with them, like you're getting here. As you can see, there is a, on the shoulder side, the belt strap as well as on the magazine. So what it does basically, it holds your shoulder holster nice and tight, close to your body, attached to the belt, which kind of helps to, he to keep everything from flapping. And the reason why I'm saying flapping is because with the vertical shoulder holster, you carry your gun and your magazines a little bit lower than with the horizontal one, because horizontal one, you can actually adjust everything pretty much almost up to your armpits and kind of have it, you know, your arms do the job of holding everything in place. Both are great, both are comfortable. So check, check them out both, whichever one you like. Okay, so let's talk um, a few other unique things to this particular shoulder holster system. Uh, as you can see, the back plate here is made out of leather. A lot of times you will find it is made out of plastic, which is really not a big deal, but because it is leather, it kind of is adds up to the softness and comfort because you don't have that plastic piece hanging around on the back. Now the magazine itself, double pouch, as you can see, and it can accommodate both the standard magazine, 1911 magazine, the shorter one, right? As you can see, and the extended one as well, without any problems. Uh, one thing that I really do like about this particular magazine pouch is that it has the adjustable tension screws. So what it means is you can have the tension adjusted 
yeah, for these magazines. And it really helps whenever you have the vertical positioning of the magazine pouch because whenever you're opening, right, you don't want the magazine to just slide out and fall. And here, as you can see, it holds it nice and pretty tight actually. So if you wanna make it a little bit lighter, you definitely can with these screws. If you wanna make it even tighter, you definitely can with these screws. All right, you get the point. So overall, I do like the shoulder holster a lot. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out with this particular system is that whenever you're buying it brand new, it does come disassembled which is really not a big deal. I, in fact, I've done a video on how to, as, not assemble, how to adjust the shoulder holster rig uh, on you, because it might be a little bit complicated if you're just getting into a shoulder holder rig system, a rig and system, same thing, right? Uh, but, but it's kind of good too, because whenever you're adjusting it from scratch, you know, because you're putting it together, you have to assemble everything and you have to adjust it from scratch, it helps finding that perfect point and as i mentioned in the beginning as you can see the positioning here is temporary so i do have all that extra leather and what i mean by that is if i decide to keep it this way what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this screw from this position to this position right here obviously this is going to be down below and then the screw is going to be here which is the same positioning but then i'll have this flap of leather above that i'll just cut off so it will save me a little bit on some weight and obviously you're not going to have all of that extra leather that you do not do not need but but don't rush doing that because especially with vertical shoulder holsters it really does take you know maybe a good week to wear it around and see if it fits because you might want to adjust it here a little bit here a little bit just make it backwards a little bit but overall overall i think it's a definitely definitely a great shoulder holster system all the links to musk website uh, this particular system and all their other products all their other holsters that they have in the description below honestly i was surprised to find out that turkish there are turkish manufacturers making gun accessories i myself you know coming from the side of the planet close to turkey and i went to turkish leasing for a year myself kind of learned Tur turkish for a little bit and pr pretty much lost most of it and uh to me it seemed like they are mm, kind of similar to back the government where i grew up was born and raised which is a very anti-gun government there are no businesses there are no manufacturers that do stuff like that kind of thought that turkey is the same way but it was really nice surprise to find them and uh wanted to point out that this was actually recommended to to me by one of you guys so thank you very much for recommending me brand new business uh mask and thanks to you guys i was able to bring their products on this channel so if you have any recommendations as you can see i definitely pay attention to them i listen to them uh if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments below and i you know if you have any requests i always put those on my special to do list thank you very much guys for watching this was a review of this mask shoulder holster system i'll see you guys in the next video